we're told if 2x minus 3y is equal to 4, what is the value of 4 to the x power divided by 8 to the y power? Pause this video and see if you can figure this out. All right, so at first this looks a little bit tricky. You're like, how do I manipulate what I have here on the left to get what I have here on the right? But another way to approach that is to say, look, this thing on the right looks a little bit suspicious. 4 and 8, they aren't, 8 isn't a power of 4, but we know that they are both powers of 2. And so maybe we can re-express 4 as a power of 2, and we can re-express 8 as a power of 2, and maybe if we algebraically manipulate that, this might show up. So let's see what happens. So I'm just going to rewrite everything. So we have 4 to the x power over 8 to the y power. Now, as I just mentioned, 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So we can rewrite this as 2 squared, and then that's to the x power over, instead of 8, we know that 8 is the same thing as 2 to the third power, and all of that to the yth power. Now, if we know, we know already from our exponent properties, and if this is unfamiliar to you, you can review it on Khan Academy. If you raise something to an exponent and then raise that to another exponent, that's equivalent to multiplying the exponents. So this is going to be equal to, and let me get a new color here, this whole numerator is going to be equal to 2 to the 2 times x power, or 2 to the 2x power, and then it's going to be divided by and then this entire denominator right over here, it's going to be two to the third, two to the y. So it's going to be two to the three times y power. Two to the three y power. Now we have the same base, and we can use other exponent properties. You might recognize that if I have a to the x over a to the y, this is the same thing as a to the x minus y. And we explained the intuition of that in other videos on Khan Academy, but we can use that property right over here. We have the same base, and so this is going to be equal to 2, that same base, to the 2x minus 3y power. Minus, we have our 3y over here, minus 3y power. And so this whole thing has been re-manipulated or manipulated to be 2 to the 2x minus 3y power. And you say, where do I go from here? Well, we just have to remember they told us that 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. So all of this business is equal to 4. So it's 2 to the fourth power. Well, we're in the home stretch now. Deserve a little bit of a drum roll. This is equal to 16. And we are done.